Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and um, of course I'm doing some, uh, what you see here and what you hear is FT8. FT8 is a digital mode that can be decoded with WSJTX. In this case, it's connected to my radio. I've got a USB cable that uh, right here that actually connects to the back of my Yesu FT DX10. And so from here, well, I'm able to control, so I'm able to listen to and to control what I'm going to do. So for example, this is a very automated mode. It's pretty incredible. Um, I'm using 30 watts. I put my power output at 30 watts right now. You could, you know, depending on the signal that you're trying to get, you can pump it up. But a lot of people use low power on FT8. And you don't need that much power. There's a lot of the contacts that I did. The power isn't very high, actually. Um, so, for example, here what I could do is go and check out where there's an empty spot on the band here. So I can position myself here, for example, where there's nothing. And by control click, I controlled, I just put myself right here on the top. Now, what I could do, and we're going to try it live, is I'm going to go here, transmit the last message, which is CQ VE2 ZZI. So what I do is I enable the transmit. So now, this is ready for a CQ call. So in the next cycle, my transceiver will be... There you go. And it's now sending a CQ call through FT8 mode and using 30 watts. And there you go. So this is all controlled by the computer. So for those that wonder what FT8 is all about. And I've been doing a lot of FT8 this week. been trying it out on the different bands. Um, one thing that comes to mind, here we go. I've got two the red ones are stations that are calling me. And look at how automated it is. Automatically, the software chose the first call, W7DDE, and is responding with the signal report of plus zero three. And there we go. And now the next cycle, I'm supposed to receive a response. Roger, that he's got, you know, the, uh, he's going to send me my signal report. So if all goes well and he heard me, signal report, here you go, Roger plus zero three. Now I'm sending a Roger, Roger 73. That means I'm okay. I contacted, I'm, uh, everything's fine. Here we go. And if you notice the enable transmit just turned white because after a contact it stops normally that station is supposed to respond to me with a last message that's going to say 73 just to complete the con the, the contact here here we go the contact is complete 73 so what i could do here as i could go is log the qso and i can um, transmit power here is 30 so i'm going to switch that to 30 whoops I log QSL, okay. Uh, here we go. 30 watts. Uh, any other comments? Here it goes. I'm just going to click OK. And now we have officially a call. So now there's another station calling me. So what I'll do, I'll just enable transmit for a call CQ. If that station sends me another report, What's going to happen is the software will automatically switch to the proper mode. So you'll see everything change here to the new call if I get a response from KA0BOJ. If not, then it's going to continue calling CQ. So here we go. I'm now back into CQ mode, waiting for any stations to uh, answer back. So this is effortless almost I mean it's just a question of knowing how to um, you know control your rig with the software WSJTX the rest is done almost automatically and like I said you got the CQs what I like to do sometimes is put the check mark in the CQ only and look at what stations are calling so finally KA0BOJ is calling me as you see here every message has changed to KA0BOJ and it's following a certain order of communications. And you see my rig being controlled, totally controlled by the software itself. 
So this is pretty uh, amazing uh, for a mode. Um, I prefer, and you know, I've we talked about it, and we talked about how I find that it's kind of um, non, you know, it's, it's kind of a cold mode. It's computerized. Um, yes, in fact, you know, it's true. It's true that I contacted a station with the rig and everything, but um, if you give me a choice, I do prefer um, SSB. But I got to say, um, people that don't like to talk and people that just want to make contact don't have fancy antennas or setup. What's nice with this mode is that it actually um, makes it possible for stations with very modest power to contact the world. I mean, I contacted New Zealand, um, I think it was on 50 watts, and I was like, wow, you know. So this was a quick look at how it works doing FT8 for those that are interested in seeing this with the Yesu FTDX10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.